We begin tonight with exclusive video from a massive fire overnight at Commerce Park in Chapmanville. 13 News were the only ones on scene last night as the fire caused extensive damage to apartments and the business complex. It happened a little past midnight and everyone got out safely. But as a result of the fire, Chapmanville, Logan, Hen Lawson, Cora, and Danville fire departments arrived on scene, dousing the flames for almost two hours until it was out. And while the Chapmanville fire chief says it was done in a timely manner, local businesses couldn't stand the heat. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick spoke to business owners and joins us now. Haley. Adrian, the fire started in an apartment above the smoke shop, which owners told me hasn't been open for more than three months. They were even planning to open a small grill next week, just needing to get the okay from the health department. But now many families finding their lives up in smoke. A structure fire lit up Chapmanville's skyline in the early morning hours. Several crews responded to tame the flames and once subsided, the air lingering with a heavy scent of burnt drywall and plastic. The state fire marshal getting a move on to the investigation to find out what caused the blaze. Commerce Park business owners waking up to the shattering news that their livelihoods had been destroyed. I mean, it's, it's a mess. The oldest mom and pop shop on the strip, unique kitchens and baths, now left blackened and soaked. What it is, it's a mess. It's disgusting. 30 plus years of hard work that is just destroyed overnight. Since 1986, helping renovate southern West Virginian homes with that personal touch. I mean, it's family owned, family operated, operated, family oriented, and um, the communities, they're really good to support us, we have especially really other great, business owners. We have really good customers. We do. So, with that same support from clientele, able to tackle this mess and get things back on track. Just get it cleaned up and get back to work. We have to. That's yeah. no other option. Yeah, we have no choice. The state fire marshal, through investigation, found the cause of the fire, and it is believed at this time to be an accident. As new details arrive, we'll keep you up to date on air and online. Hilikosik, 13 News, working for you.